Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about Triple IT Allahabad, which is also Indian Institute of Information Technology located in Allahabad. And about this college, it started in 1999 and it's one of the top notch institute and it's a deemed university status by government of India from 2000 onwards. So as you understand, establishment was 1999 and the location is Jalawa, Allahabad in Prayagraj. And campus is decent, you know, 100 acres campus with all the amenities. And it's considered as one of the top notch engineering college is equivalent to IITs. So it has got a very good placements and you will see later part of this video. It has got the NRF ranking 87th in 2024. So that is excellent. And also from the global ranking perspective, QS World University ranking, it was rated as 1,400 plus global uh, brand uh, globally right so and uh, in terms of qs university asia ranking it was under 601 to 650 rank right so in south asian region it was 189th best college option right so facilities wise again i said it is 100 acres so it has good number of facilities like campus includes the guest house faculty guest house you know vip five boys hostels are there with combined capacity of 3000 three girls hostel also there 60 residential quarters are there for the professors and the other apartment type you know residential facilities uh, squash courts pavilion co and swimming pool tennis court badminton court and all the facilities are there so this is one of the picture of the main uh, gate of the college and these are one of the green areas within the campus so a lot of them are there and this is one of the pictures from their auditorium and this is their placement office uh, within the campus right so it's all beautiful campus and i mentioned all the fast sports facilities are there. and good number of societies uh, which are related with literary society drama society music society dance society fine arts and technical societies are also there now why do you select this as one of the best option because students for btec right which is uh, through j means admission process right you need to be in top 0.5 percent of the candidates right? so it's a 0.5 percent of the students who get selected there so even for the mtech you need to have been the top two percent in india to get admission there other uh, is it has a world class curriculum right and faculty as well it has very good excellent thinkers and coders which are part of the students and they participate in lot of competitions like uh, google summer of code code google code jam top coder and other uh, competitions which are held plus they have an excellent infrastructure for a uh, cutting edge research like high end research and good industry exposures is also provided with the collaboration so they have collaborations with drdo uh, defense research organization and indian space research organization isro then with the russian government indo russian center for biotechnology information security uh, education and tcs right as a scholar program and many other programs they run through and the good thing is that they have very good alumni base also spread across uh, globally and maybe it uh, across world like massachusetts you know or cambridge or Carnegie Mellon, california university university of michigan canberra and all the parts of the world you will find them now coming to the admission process for undergraduate course it's a btech and admission process is through j mains exam so 90 percent of seats are through j mains and 10 percent of the seats are allocated through dasa dasa for the dasa entry which is direct admission of students abroad right so for a foreign students you know you need to be uh, appearing basically for DASA 2024 which will be coordinated by NIT Raipur last year and it will be similar thing for others. Now the academic programs right so BTEC you have option of BTEC in information technology, uh, IT BT which is uh, information technology and business informatics and uh, then you have BTEC in EC electronics and communication engineering. 
so if you see student wise strength right highest number of students are there in information technology 275 students ece also 118 students and uh, itbi right that branches 45 students any student who is interested to see the seat matrix of the previous year to understand the seats available in their respective categories so total 267 seats as i mentioned out of which general category seats in btech it will be around 104 ews 25 obc 68 sc 38 st 19 and so on you can check similarly for other branches btech electronics and communication engineering also 132 seats 50 for general then uh, uh, obc 434 uh, sc 19 and so on you can check for your category and this is the third branch which is btech in information technology with specialization in business and informatics there are only 40 seats are there so general 15 seats and uh, obc 10 seats are the major ones otherwise one or two seats for other branches which are there now you see for the mtech admission process they take admission through gate for a regular two year program for the five year btech mtech it is through uh, josa counseling only so talking about the two years mtech one you have many disciplines it and uh, from electronics engineering side and they also have a two year mba program also there right so within the mtech again they provide a good number of specialization software engineering uh, cyber loss data engineering robotics wireless communication ec bioinformatics and so on branches so if you want to know the branch wise seats for the mtech this is the seats very few seats like 10 to 15 seats in each of the branches are there as you can see here now talking about the program which is related with mba so mba every year the last year seat total seats were 95 again here general category 36 seats obc 25 sc is 13 st 7 and then small number of seats for other categories like ews nine seats are there now let's talk about the cut off as i mentioned it should you should be under 0.5% of the students so under 10000 for all the uh, branches which will be there right now let's talk about the placements for 2024 batch which is there for the last year talking about the um, companies now all good companies visit there and like atlassian google d shaw you know and sap oracle goldman sachs all the multinational companies qualcomm and then uh, samsung some indian startups also there like phone pay flipkart are also there like right? and then you have few see some more from the banking side like city bank dosh bank and global consultants like accenture and global retailers like walmart a grofers indian companies philips airtel are all there now talking about the uh, packages uh, i will start with the 2024 the highest package was 1.21 crores per year which was excellent placements and in 2023 the placement was highest was 82.5 so there is a good jump and if you want to see the comparison from the previous year like few years back it was 40 lakhs highest salary 45 then 50 lakhs then they increased to 60 lakh 60 lakh and then 1 crore and then last year there was a dip to 87 88 then again it is now over 1 crore salary highest now talking about the median salary trend again you can see median salaries have also uh, have been in the range of 15 to 20 lakhs and more than that 25 lakhs for few years now talking about the btech placement specifically for last 3 years data as per the nirf report so 2022 batch if you start 275 students were eligible for placement out of which 261 of them got placed with the median salary of 28 lakhs so that you can understand it so uh, good salary median salaries like you know top notch iits similarly the, in 2023 batch 384 students were graduating out of which 372 got placed right with the median salary of 30 lakhs so that is also quite excellent and this year uh, there was little bit dip in the median salary so you can see the 428 students were eligible 348 got placed so not everybody got placed this year and the median salary also dropped to 18.5 but 
but that is a normal trend in every college the placement dip as well as the median salary dip i'll talk about the mtech placements for 3 years so if you see it that way 141 students were eligible 137 placed in 2022 batch and their median salary was quite excellent which was 16.75 lakhs last year last to last year you know 176 students eligible to set 133 got placed so placement numbers were good median salary small dip 15 lakhs but this year there was a sudden dip in the placements of mtech 137 students eligible only 90 got placed so good number of place students do not get placed and the median salary also dropped quite big from 15 lakhs directly to 11 lakhs so there is some dip in the mtech placements which is happening plus integrated mtech placements which is happening so that's all i have to cover in this particular video thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in india take care and bye